started coming out here a few years back, so um, just more or less for a vacation, you know, and heard about Sombrero Ranch online and met a lot of people out here and, you know, started shoeing with them and helped them a lot with their shoeing and, you know, getting a horse's foot rounder and square behind and back east I do a lot of hunter jumpers and show horses and things like that and, you know, out here they were shoeing horses like we did 30 years ago back east and, uh, I don't know, I think I helped the company and got a little more longevity out of the horse's feet and, you know, uh, I don't know, I, I hope I helped them, you know. Yeah. Well, a lot of times the horses, are, you know, the guys that were shooting it were more or less pointing the toes and shooting them to the, the hard wall of the foot, you know, and not a lot of breakover in the front, not a lot of breakover behind. So set them back in the front and round them up and square them up behind, you know, to get their breakover and they're getting a lot more years out of these horses by shooting them this way, you know. Well, they were using all heels and toes when I got here and I talked them into getting them into flat shoes because every time that horse stopped with them heels and toes, they were just jarring their joints in the front, their hocks and stifles behind and, you know, the horse is a lot more comfortable as far as breakover goes and, you know, they're just, they're moving a lot better, you know. We use the St. Croix shoe, you know, just the plain St. Croix, it's, you know, they, they're looking for a good price on a shoe and they go with the St. Croix, you know. It's just a regular flat rim shoe, you know. Nothing squared, nothing rounded, so everything's, you got to really fabricate it on the end, but get it round, you know, and it's a lot of work, and that's why I think guys got lazy out here, you know, they're doing 10 or 12 horses a day, and to shape a shoe the way it should be, it's time consuming, you know, and I got to, you know, think more about the horse, you know. I don't do more than six or seven, you know, but some guys are shooing 10 or 12, you know, but after 30 years of shoeing, you get a little, little worn out, you know. Right. Back home, if I do four or five show horses in a day, and I'm talking that's 8 o'clock in the morning until probably 6 o'clock at night, you know, to set them up the way they need to be, you know. About 750 horses will be in Longmount, and then the rest of them will be up here. And we'll probably shoe 450 horses from the 1st of May to the first, first week of June, probably about six guys. I'll stay out here till I got here a week ago. I'll stay till about the middle of May. I'll go home for a week and a half. I'll come back here for two weeks, you know, and then there's a movie deal going on down in New Mexico with Ed Pinkett, so I'll probably go down there and shoot some horses too, you know.